Hey, so in this video, I'll go over this article I made, and I'll put this in, in the description. But yeah, basically it's um, mapping custom markers from Firebase and Superbase to a custom data type. And this uh, video, I'm gonna go over the Superbase setup. And you can get all the code here. Yeah, so that's on my website. Yeah, let's start. So I have a lot of <laughs> different uh, columns in my table. So this is my place table. But yeah, we just need latitude, longitude, image URL, title, description, and title and description. Just as a recap, anytime you click on the uh, marker see the title Houston hot chicken and then restaurant is what I had as the description so yeah next we'll go to flutter flow uh, we'll just start with the data type and so in firebase they have a geo point which lets you put it's basically basically like lat long you put the latitude and longitude in one column super base has something like that but you have to set up an extra extension and yeah i didn't want anybody to have to go through that they might have something new by now i don't know but yeah for now i just have it latitude and longitude title description image url that long and i also have another uh, custom function which basically maps it takes an argument of super base places which is a list um, of the place table and then it returns um, it transforms that into a list of our custom data types so if you see here we're going through our super base places and then we're just mapping it to the place strip which is the custom data type that's what it's called I guess under the hood of letter flow and you'll see I'm already setting that long I'm just not using this in the custom widget yet so that's why I haven't removed that but yeah in the future this will be removed but you'll still keep it in super base um, yeah still keep latitude and longitude separate unless you use the other extension but yeah anyways next I'll go over okay so the dependency page is basically I'll just recap it it was re, um, called homepage copy so this just to go over again um, this is a template I have in uh, the letter flow marketplace for free and we honestly don't need to put images here anymore but if you remember Adam here so it was included inside of the project but if you go to your settings there's an option to um, include all of your set assets but for Google Maps I believe we still have to include this um, and by including this it will set up the keys um, in your project basically when you export it and so yeah so that was just a quick recap <laughs> And so yeah, we'll just focus on the custom data type map. I'll go over Mapbox in another video. But yeah. So first, I'll show you. I have a data type items, which a data type items uh, page state variable, which is just a list of our custom data types. And this is what gets passed down to. Or I mean, it's both, but it gets passed down to our. Uh, custom data type maps um, as our list as our list of places and the way we get our list of places is um, on the top level so you can either click on the top level widget or I just click outside of this canvas and then uh, I have an action I have parallel actions and this is just um, so because this is a template, I want everybody to be able to reuse it however they need. So 
I just disabled Firestore. So now I need to enable Super Base. So I have a Super Base or Action Block. I actually have one big Action Block that does all of this, but yeah, for now we'll just leave this. <laughs> so since that's the Action Block, you'll see I have um, a backend query, which just queries the table plate, uh, the place table. And then I'm just ordering by title what's pending. Then I'm returning super base places as an action output variable. And then if you click this plus, you'll see add a return. But since I've already clicked it, it's already here. So you'll click this and then you'll turn this on. So you'll see, see this option. I'll just remove it to show you how to set it. Um, if you haven't submitted <laughs> all of this, uh, these action blocks, so um, you probably won't be able to see this part yet by the time you watch this video, depending on when you watch this. But yeah, anyways, let's set this by going to our custom functions, create super bases, and our action output, super base places, confirm those. We're done there. We'll go to our home page. And I named it the same thing, but this is the list of our custom um, place data types that was mapped um, as the return value, if you remember. And so now I'll set that. I'll update the page state, the data types item page state, using that uh, super base places action output variable. I should have probably named them something different because I don't know, it may make it confusing. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. Let me think if I'm missing anything. No, that's it. But yeah, I'll put this article in the description and anything else. But yeah, in the next video, I'll go over the code um, so you'll know how to change that according to your needs. And yep, thank you for watching and see y'all next time.